The search for a missing toddler may have come to a tragic end. East Point police believe a body discovered at the East Point transfer station is that of two-year-old Josiah Mitchell. This afternoon, police discovered a child's body at the facility on South Martin Street. Fox News' Deidre Dukes is live at the scene with the late-breaking details. Deidre. And now it's a heartbreaking end to the search for that missing two-year-old. A Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office and East Point detectives on scene here at the East Point Transfer Station where this afternoon a child's body was discovered. That child's body believed to be that of missing two-year-old Josiah Mitchell, whose father falsely reported he'd been kidnapped exactly one week ago. Now, if you look behind me, you can see that uh, East Point police are posted at the entrance here this afternoon, monitoring traffic coming in and out of the facility. We're told trash from across the city of East Point is dumped here before it is transferred to a landfill in Griffin. Uh, police say the body has been out in the element for several days, and while investigators suspect it is that of the missing child, they say a forensic pathologist is going to have to identify the body. Now, last Wednesday, Josiah's father, Artavius North, reported the boy was kidnapped by armed robbers in DeKalb. Police say he lied about the kidnapping. He was arrested, charged with making a false statement to police, and just Earlier this week, police named him as a person of interest in the case. Now, East Point Police Chief Sean Buchanan was informed at around 1.30 this afternoon as we wrapped up an interview with him that his detectives were responding to this location. Uh, before today's tragic discovery, the chief said North was being uncooperative. Well, I would tell you there are several of his family members who are very uh, forthcoming and they've tried to talk with him and pleading with him, tell the truth. I would tell you that his family is just as concerned about the child as the mother's family. It's just he is not being cooperative. And then uh, just after that interview, the uh, developments here uh, earlier this afternoon that a child's body had, in fact, been located here. Investigators said they expected that they'd be on scene for another uh, two to three hours out here today. The investigation has taken, sadly, a dark, tragic turn. That's the latest here in East Point. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Yeah, heartbreaking doesn't even begin to describe it. Deidre, thank you. A lot of